Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Space News Pod. We have some massive Starship news coming into you. There may be a possible static fire of a full stack Starship coming up soon. Now, why do we know this? So on February 13th, 2022, at about 3 o'clock p.m., there was the first deliveries of methane to the orbital tank farm. Now, this isn't being delivered to the large vertical tanks at the orbital tank farm. This is being delivered to the long white horizontal tanks next to the large vertical tanks. And the reason why it's not being delivered to the large vertical tanks is that there's rumors going around that the tanks are having some issues. Now, this is pretty cool because it means that SpaceX is ramping up for something really big in the next few weeks, possibly. So Starship SN20, Booster 4, fully stacked at the orbital launch tower. And uh, the orbital tanks, the vertical tanks, aren't going to be holding anything. But the horizontal tanks can hold up to 99% of enough methane for a full stack, which is the booster and the Starship to fill them. So they could be filling up Starship and Booster 4 all the way, almost all the way, 99% of the way for a full stack booster and possible launch scenario. That doesn't mean they're going to launch anytime soon. They have a lot of work to do in order to get this stuff running. If you like Starbase content, if you like Starship content, please hit the like button and the subscribe button because every day I go down to Starbase, I shoot this video and I make these videos for you. So stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Now, they could be testing the tanks themselves to see how they hold this methane. They could be testing the pumps as well. And they also could be testing all the interior and exterior plumbing going from these tanks to the booster and to the Starship in the next couple days. So let's take a look at some information we have that could kind of cue us in to what's going to be happening with this Starship methane delivery to the booster and to the Starship. So today is the 13th. That's when the stuff was delivered. That's when the methane was delivered. Monday the 14th, there's a road closure scheduled from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Usually SpaceX closes the road for something important. Sometimes they will close the road for an hour to move something from the production facility down to the launch site. Sometimes if they're stacking something up, say if they're stacking up uh, Starship SN20, on top of Booster 4, they closed down the road and all beach access because they didn't want anybody to be hurt because this is the first time they used the chopsticks to lift SN20 on top of Booster 4. Now, it's a closure from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. That's a 12-hour closure. Could they be testing the methane tanks? If a methane tank bursts or if pipes burst, it could be a bad thing methane dangerous and if a pipe bursts you know, pipes are made out of metal they're shrapnel don't want anybody around so close the beach access off close off the road between 10 a.m and 10 p.m while they're testing these things now we have a backup testing date on tuesday between 10 a.m and 10 p.m so the next day after that is thursday so they'll be skipping wednesday of this week which is kind of weird so Monday and Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So that could be deliveries and testing for the Orbital Tank Farm Booster 4 Starship SN20. And then they could skip a day, prep, and then Thursday there's another road closure from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. But then we have a really weird road closure on Friday, February 18th, between 6 a.m. and 4 p.m., this is all Central Standard Time, 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Could there be a static fire this Friday, the 18th, between 6 a.m. and 4 p.m.? 6 a.m., uh, usually nobody's down there. Um, 
whether it's people going to the beach, fisher people, you know, everybody that's down there, there's nobody is awake that early. Usually there are a few people that go down that early to get a, uh, get daybreak uh, waves and stuff, but usually no one's down there. So closing at 6 a.m. till 4 p.m., that's great. And also SpaceX doesn't close the roads on weekends. So doing it early on Friday gives them all day to work on the orbital tank farm, booster four, filling it up, and then possibly filling up ship 20. Could we get a static fire of booster four and ship 20? on Friday, February 18th, anytime between 6 a.m. and 4 p.m. We also have to look at the weather. Now, the weather is important, too, because they need good weather in order to operate their systems. It's not, uh, you know, it's very high engineering here, so they need good weather to operate these things. Monday, it's going to be sunny. 67 is the high. Wind chill, um, it's about 13 miles per hour. 8 to 13 miles per hour wind. And then Monday night, about the same. Goes down to 53 miles per hour. Tuesday, 74 degrees. Winds as high as 23 miles per hour. That's getting a little bit iffy there. So Tuesday, for the static fire, it's possible. But it's kind of, it's on the edge of uh, maybe not probable at that point. Wednesday, they're going to be skipping Wednesday. So we're going to skip the weather for Wednesday. Thursday, sunny with a high near 75 Winds between 9 and 17 with gusts up to 22. They're right on the Gulf of Mexico here. So all the Gulf winds just blow right across. It's all flat, too. There's nothing to stop those winds. Now, Friday, mostly sunny. High near 60. Northern wind around 14. Friday sounds like the perfect day to do a static fire of Booster 4 full stack with Ship 20. Now, they're not going to static fire Ship 20. They're just going to static fire booster four if they do get to it this week. So they're delivering the methane as we speak, or as I speak, I should say. So there's a potential full stack Starship static fire coming up on the 18th, I believe, which is Friday of this week. They could be doing it Thursday and then the teardown and, you know, data recovery all that stuff could be Friday as well. So we'll see what happens, but I'm assuming Friday is going to be the static fire. Let me know in the comments what you think below, and uh, we'll see what's going on with this static fire of Booster 4 and Ship 20. And I want to say thank you to everybody who's been tuning in, liking the videos, subscribing, commenting. Thank you so much for all of your continued support of the show. I can't do this without you. So thank you so much. Leave a comment. Leave a like.